police spotted him walking down the street in the Bronx wearing a bullet resistant vest and this grenade launcher strapped to his back. It is a confrontation about to turn deadly. Three people exit a smoke shop, one with a bat in hand. The man he's confronting then opens fire, blasting several rounds at the group and into the shop. The gunman can then be seen entering the shop, then casually walking away. A 31-year-old man was killed, shot in the head and torso. Two others, innocent bystanders, a 34-year-old man shot in his arm, and a 34-year-old woman shot in her torso. He's in stable condition, she's in critical condition. Police arrested 25-year-old Edison Cruz, charged with murder. Cops say this is the alleged murder weapon, a ghost gun, recovered two blocks away. In 2020, Cruz was arrested for throwing a plate of food at his mother's face and threatening to kill her. Cops say he had a loaded firearm, a ballistic vest, and parts to build ghost guns. This is surprising. He's really a humble cat. Like, he don't look for problems, no nothing. The Bronx tonight, a stabbing and a shooting within a short distance of each other. One of the victims may have been an innocent victim who had to go running just for help. You can see as they walk like they're going to cross the street, they duck and run when bullets fly in their direction. The store is hit and a third man clutches his side. He's the one who was struck. He is 68 years old. He was actually struck in the arm and he went next door to the Dunkin Donuts for cover and help. They heard three shots. This shop is at 149th and Prospect Avenue and it's not the only place along 149th Street where police were called tonight. Two teenagers were stabbed, but a 13-year-old girl and a 16-year-old boy were stabbed. Disturbing shooting uh, taken from a security camera on one of the stores here on the block. The violence unfolding in broad daylight on a crowded street. Take a look as you see a group of teenagers walking down the street when suddenly you see the gunman in a hoodie pull out a weapon and start shooting. You can see people running and witnesses say they saw about, they heard about five shots being fired. We see markers for about nine bullets out here now. One of those bullets, as we said, critically wounding a 15-year-old boy who was just walking down the street. Neighbors tell me that um, police were doing CPR before he was transported to the hospital. Uh, the deli owner who saw it all happen telling me that there has been a problem in this neighborhood with some gang activity. Exclusive video shows the intense moments before a deadly shooting in Richmond Hill, Queen, people wearing hoods which conceal their faces casually walk across Liberty Avenue by 127th Street while a third paces along the sidewalk. The three then quickly whip out guns and start shooting into a parked car. It's go bang, bang, and then, you know, bang, 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 bang. Police say 28-year-old Clarissa Burgos of Brooklyn was fatally shot in the head. While they say the 39-year-old man driving the car was shot multiple times in his chest. A video shows him driving frantically away from the scene right after. Police say he drove two miles to the 103rd Police Precinct in Jamaica to get help.